Hello, my name is Cody. In today's video, we're going to be covering tables in Tableau. For this example, we're going to be using employee data. And to get started, we're going to go down to this tab and we're going to create a worksheet. For this example, we have titled ours individual employee engagement. You may want to do this at the beginning so you don't forget later and it'll also keep your worksheets organized if you have multiple. Over here on the left, we have our different data points you can use to create your table. To start, we're going to use manager names. Two things you can do with this is you can double click. This will place it into rows or columns automatically. This is also interchangeable between columns and rows, but for this example, we're just gonna leave it in rows. Now what we need is to fill in our columns for these managers. So we're going to go down to the Q12 data. We're going to click Q1, hold shift, and this will automatically select all the data we need. And then from here, we're going to drag it into the columns. And now we have the data that we want to work with. So from here, we're going to change the bar graphs into a table. So if we go up into the show me tab, it's already selected on the bar graphs. We go into the top left, this will automatically change it to a table for us to work with. Now there's a couple different things you can do with this table. One thing you can do is create subcategories in your table. For this example, we're gonna take employee names and we're gonna put it right next to manager names. Now this will place your data next to your other data and fit it into the graph. We have employees here and managers that are over these employees. This is just another way to represent the data and add a little bit more into your table. For this example, we're just going to stick with the managers and the Q12 data. Another thing you can do is you can filter out data you don't want, or if you want to add more in later, click the little arrow, click edit filter. And as you can see, we have all the different data points that we can add in here. For example, if we go into manager names, click filter, border directors may not fit this data. And so we can click them and click apply. And this will take it out of our table. If you actually want to bring it back in, just click it again and click apply. And this will bring it back into our table. Next, another thing you can do is sort your data. If we go into the columns and go down to sort, there's a couple different options you can choose from. First is data source order, alphabetical, and manual. For this example, we're gonna use data source order. And this is just gonna organize our data from Q1 to Q12. Another thing you can do is sort by ascending or descending. And this will just change how the data is in your table. Now it's Q12 to Q1. But in this, we're just gonna leave it ascending from Q1 to Q12. Next, another thing you can do is go up to this tab here, and this will change how much data you're seeing on your screen. If you click fit to width, this will stretch it from left to right so it covers the entire screen that way. If you click fit to height, it'll cover the distance from the top to the bottom. And if you click entire view, it'll put as much data as you want on the screen and cover the entire thing. So to go over what we did, Things you can do with the tables are create subcategories with different data points that you have. You can filter your data for any points that you do not want or you want to include later. And you can also sort your data in ascending or descending, alphabetical, data source order, or manually. You can also change the view of your data on the screen by clicking this tab up here. This covers tables and tableau thank you for watching